Hello and assalamu alaikum I'm Raja Saroj Soheb and welcome to the special episode on City 2 TV Today we're present at Dr Akbar Niazi Teaching Hospital where we are discovering about wellness together we're talking about liver transplant liver care and just to give you certain facts about liver problem uh, well it's we know that it is one of the most important organ in the body it's a powerhouse organ and uh, it carries out more than 500 different functions it consists basically of 13000 multiple chemical productions which take place within our body and uh, you know in pakistan it's a major problem right now that a lot of people are facing liver problems and liver diseases uh, which we're going to talk about right now well dr akbar niazi teaching hospital is holding this seminar which is being delivered by a very special guest that i will introduce to you in just a bit uh the main purpose of this seminar is to talk about the liver problem and liver transplant and to bring about solutions that can be incorporated in the society for the betterment so with me is a very competent surgeon uh, who's also a liver transplant surgeon uh, all the way from turkey professor kamil yalchin polat so he is from uh, istanbul turkey from memorial hospital and he has been involved in this field for quite some time has done more than 1000 surgical uh operations and he has a success rate of 94% which is wonderful so sir my first question to you would be it is as simple as asking you about first of all that when someone is faced with a liver problem or there is something that's going on with them what is the first thing that they need to recognize and how can they uh, you know get their diagnosis done on an early stage you know uh, liver the uh, disease is very special disease uh, if the liver is working Uh, less than ten per, percent, uh, the patient didn't get any symptoms. Right. So it's tolerated actually. Liver is very uh, 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 bloodly organs. You know, surgical is surgery. You know, I mean, liver surgery is very difficult. Right. Very special area. And hepatobiliary surgery and liver transplant is uh, totally different uh, thing in the, from the surgery. We are doing liver transplant, living donor liver transplant, mostly in Turkey. Right. In our center, uh, most uh, liver transplant, living donor liver transplant, the biggest one in the Turkey, in Istanbul, actually. Last year, we performed 170 liver transplant. Right. So, all this one, all this patient, actually, 80 years old, and youngest one is the three months and four kilograms. So that means we are doing every uh, patient, if the possible, going to uh, do the liver transplant. So the transplant is to... need some big team actually. Right. This is the multidisciplinary science actually. Involvement of a lot of different people which who come together to uh, perform this procedure, right? I also want to know about uh, the main reason to have a liver transplant because yes. we know that you know liver can regenerate itself. by itself right there are four main region right chronic liver disease and i mean hcc patient i mean tumor patients and okay. acute liver failure and metabolic and genetic disease sometimes goes to liver transplantation but in pakistan and turkey we have a lot of hepatitis b and hepatitis c patients which is a viral disease yeah viral disease yeah. so in our in our serious is uh, uh, 50% less than uh, more than uh, 50% hepatitis B but hepatitis C is going 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 down because it's the, some medical uh, medicine uh, solved the problem on I mean, hepatitis B hepatitis C okay but we are sitting uh, growing the hepatitis B and NASH non alcoholic steroid hepatitis means obesity Right. And fatty liver and that it's a major problem in major, Pakistan. Yeah, it is growing actually. It's yeah. a, a very high level in uh, uh, west country in like a Turkey, okay? So in pediatric patients, uh, the problem is the genetic uh, problems. Yeah. You know, uh, we, we are saying bile duct problem. I mean, uh, genetically there are no bile duct. I mean, how much do you think you know environmental factors or even you know things that we are involved in for example our habits like uh drinking alcohol for for example yes can contribute to cause liver problems in your body yes if the patient has uh, taken the alcohol and the patient is obese that's the reason right main reason right. actually they are going you know uh, that actually if we do the transplant if we will do the transplant so actually we can 
protect the patient to go to liver transplant. Hepatitis B, you know, newborn, we can get the uh, vaccine. We can protect the patient, hepatitis B patients. And do you think it is more prevalent in Pakistan? Yes. Because we have a lot of problem with the safety measures that we take while performing these procedures. Yeah, I know. Uh, we have to actually, I mean, you know, friendly to country, uh, too much, you know, correlation with you. I mean, yeah. doctors and faculties and hospitals. So, yeah, I have a lot of experience. I'm going to give the your doctors my experience. They're right. going to give some experience. So I do want to know about medical tourism from you because obviously you've come from Turkey and you are here in Pakistan to give this uh, to hold this seminar and then you will be in Lahore and Karachi as well, yes, right? Yes. So I want to know that how important it is for different cultures to you know come together and fight against this disease and how important has the role of medical tourism been in this you know area especially considering the fact that it's also contributing to the economies of both the countries right yes and in yes, Pakistan yeah. we the do same. need a lot of investment yes. but Pakistan is growing growing actually yeah this is the first uh, fourth time I am here so every coming here um, I, I saw Pakistan is growing yeah so and in terms of everything not the medical just not just the medical issue wonderful so uh, in Turkey uh, very uh, Turkey is a, has a very special medical uh, speciality. So they are coming, people, I mean, Europe, I mean, America, I mean, Russia, I mean, East, uh, uh, Middle East, they are coming, all is coming. Turkey is uh, actually a rising star in the medical issues. Right. Yes. Right. So it's a very good place for Pakistani patients to go to as well and get their treatment yes. done. I want to know in the end that what do you want to uh, suggest the viewers right now who are watching you how can they take care of their liver and how can they avoid the procedure of getting a surgery or a transplant? You know, uh, I mean, just, I, I can say something, just, uh, you know, checkup is important. Right. Uh, after the 40 years old, we have to check, you know, uh, every six months. Right. Just the uh, biochemical uh, lab test and ultrasound, simply actually. So we can get some sign of the liver disease. Right. Yeah. So, so special doctors, if any problem in the lab test, you can go special doctors. Who? Gastroenterologist, for example. Okay? All right. So, okay. so checkup is important. And if the patient relatives is the, has a uh, hepatitis B or C positive, so there are more chances we have to for check, it. We right. have to check uh, myself, I mean, uh, ourselves, we can uh, yeah. lab check. Genetics can play a big role, right? Genetics are, uh, you know, uh, the uh, third, uh, actually, uh, thing. All right. Other I think that was very insightful. Thank you so yes. much, sir, for being here and talking to us. Thank you very much. And for, have a great stay in Pakistan. Yeah, I'm going to have the, uh, the, your doctors in here. Uh, just the education for, uh, I mean, the liver transplant. Wonderful. I hope we will create the liver transplant here, this hospital. I hope yeah. to. Yeah, near, near future. Wonderful, thank okay. you so much. You're welcome.